All right, so the when multiplying two binomials, what ends up happening is teachers try to teach some sort of weird little tricks, and I'll demonstrate those right now, and then talk about why we're not going to do them. So we've got 2y plus 5z times 5y plus 6z. Now some teachers do this thing where they teach this method called FOIL, which stands for first, outside, inside, last. That will work when you have a, a two-digit, uh, it's called a binomial times a two-digit, but that doesn't work as soon as you add something else to the end, like a minus 3k or something, because now there are not just first, outside, inside, last, there are three things on the right, not just two. And the other thing that people often teach is this thing called monkey face, where you have a set of eyes here like this, nose here like this, and a mouth here like that. Well, that still completely leaves out this piece right here. And so what we need to be mindful of is that tricks like foil or monkey face uh, will work if you have a two by two. They will not work if you have a one by three like we did in the last lesson. But what I'm about to show you will always work. And it's exactly what we did in the previous lesson where we, we did this thing I called an area model where we basically draw a box to help us organize our thinking and keep stuff straight. So we have here we've got a 2y plus 5z, and then a 5y plus 6z. And again, the sign stays with it. Since it's all plus signs, I don't need to write them. I can just assume positivity. And so then we just fill in the boxes. So 5 times 2 is 10. y times y is y squared. 6 times 2 is 12. That's a y, and that's a z. 5 times 5 is 25. We have a y, we have a z. And then 6 times 5 is 30. That's going to be z squared because z times z makes z squared. And one pattern you're going to notice if you follow this is that these two are always going to be like terms. Well, I shouldn't say always. Most of the time they're going to be like terms. And so we'll end up adding them together at the end. So we get 10y squared plus 25yz plus 12yz plus 30z squared. And we can see that the yz's are like terms, and so we will get 10y squared plus 37yz plus 30z squared. I really like this area model for multiplying things like polynomials. I hope that uh, it's something you find useful, and it's the method that I'm going to use as we continue through the next three problems together. So we're going to have a 5y minus 3z. and an 8y minus 5z. So I'm going to area model this out. So I've got a 5y and a negative 3z. Remember the sign stays with the number. And an 8y and a negative 5z. So we just fill in the boxes. 8 times 5 is 40. y times y is y squared. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. We have a y and we have a z. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. Again, we have a y and a z. And then negative 5 and negative 3 makes positive 15 z squared. And as with last time, you'll notice that those two are like terms and they will eventually be added together. So what's inside the boxes is our answer, 40 y squared minus 24 y z minus 25yz plus 15z squared. So 40y squared minus 49yz plus 15z squared. It looks like it matches up, so we're going to move on to the next. We have a x plus 3w. And a 8x plus w. 
So drying our box again. We've got a X plus three W and an eight X plus W. So eight times one is eight X squared. Eight times three is 24. W, w X. You could put X W, it doesn't matter. W X. W times three W is gonna be three W to the power of two. So we've got 8x squared plus 24wx plus wx plus 3w squared gives us 8x squared plus 25wx plus 3w squared. And I think we have time in this video for one more. Let's do that. One more, and we will do 7x minus y by 3x plus y. Seven x negative y, three x y. So three times seven is twenty-seven x squared, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, x, y. 7 times 1 is 7, x, y. y times negative y is going to be negative y squared, because negative 1 times, ne or sorry, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, and y times y is y squared. So we get 27 x squared minus 3 x, y, plus 7 x, y minus y squared, and that's going to put us at 27x squared. The negative 3 and the positive 7 is going to make a positive 4xy minus y squared. Oh, and that's a 21, not a 27. My bad. So, oops. 7 times 3 is 21, not 27. Okay, that's it.